Yay, welcome to Love Vibe TV. I am your hostess, Reverend Lunch Lady. I am so glad you're here. I'm also known as your favorite unicorn wrangling love coach, helping singles create amazing things in their life, including calling in a beloved or improving a current relationship or anything else that you desire. So I like to come here and share with you tips, tools, consciousness, laws of the universe, all different ways that we can raise our frequency and be more happy on the planet, but also be more consciously creating our life on the planet. So thanks for being here. Today, I want to talk about, wow, no pain, no gain. Have you ever heard that saying, no pain, no gain? You know, athletes like to use it. I'm definitely not one of those. But there is this sense of no pain, no gain often in the relationship space. Like, oh, well, you know, these le- these relationships I learn, I have to learn from. If it's not my relationship, I'll just learn from it. And almost an expectation that we have to have pain in order to grow. So today I want to look at what else we can be with that so that we don't have to actually unconsciously create problems, create pain in order for us to make a choice for something that works better for us, which would mean that there wouldn't be pain or suffering or struggle or problem or any of that. So what do you know about that? Because I am so interested in what would be the opposite of that, which is what would it be like to be able to grow through joy, grow through pleasure, grow through making a new choice without having to be confronted or pushed into the corner in our lives to make that change. And you know, maybe that's the way that that happens. And it's not, that is not wrong either, because I've had many cases where I can look back and see where I was really struggling because something wasn't aligned or I was too afraid, afraid to make a choice of getting out of a relationship that wasn't working or getting out of a job that wasn't working or doing something else because I just didn't know what to do. But I also didn't have the kinds of tools that I have now that I'm sharing with you. And so today I actually brought one of my favorite tools, which I haven't used in a while. And it's this beautiful little cleansing tool. And so we'll be doing some clearings. And with these clearings, I'll ask you a question and you want to just let the question bring up whatever it brings up in your world. It's not something where you want to go to your head and try to like figure out the right answer. This is about noticing when you hear the question, the kind of energies it brings up. It may bring up pictures. You may actually have a clear awareness about something or not. So when we do that, then we just let the energy come up and then just like that, it's gone. Isn't that amazing? So we're going to use that for some of the things today. And so I'd like to, let's, let's start. Like what um, possibilities are available for you? Um, Well, let's back up. What inventions and creations and pain and problem and struggle are you creating so that you can make the choice that is actually available for you right now. So whatever that brings up, whatever that brings up, we will destroy and uncreate it. And when we say destroy and uncreate, it's like going to the source of where that started because we've been conditioned, we've been programmed 
to function in a certain way just by society and watching our families or or our friends and and what else is actually possible for us when we can consider okay if i don't have to get to this point of pain sometimes it's even illness how many people do you know that have gotten major illnesses and and then sort of hit rock bottom to a place where then there was nothing else but to either to make a different kind of change that they weren't willing to make before. Maybe you've been in that situation and have an example of that. I know I've had many examples in relationships and work and with my body where you just re you reach a sort of rock bottom or a breaking point or a place where sometimes I even think of it like I'm just so bored with the, the drama or the conversation I'm having with myself about why I can't and the sort of the hopeless voice and all of these things that then become the struggle that can, you know, does it have to get so loud that we're so miserable that then we make a choice? What if we can allow ourselves to grow and expand and be in awareness and presence with ourselves in beautiful ways, like through connecting or actually no, listening to yourself and saying, you know what, this time I'm going to say no to that invitation. That doesn't feel like a yes to me. When maybe in the past you would have automatically said yes, and now you're saying no. Someone asks you to help them out and, and you feel obligated. So the obligations, the people pleasing. So what obligations and people pleasing are you doing or being right now that if you were to let go of that, there would be the choice that actually works for you. So whatever that brings up, just letting it come into our sacred bowl and destroy and uncreate that. So notice right now, what are those things? Like if you were, you may even know some choices. Like sometimes we don't make choices because we're afraid we're going to get the wrong choice and then that's going to create more suffering. But how much suffering is there not making the choice? Let's do that one. So all of the places and spaces that you're suffering as a result of not making a choice that you are, haven't been willing to consider, will you destroy and uncreate everything that that brings up? So what are those things that you may even already know? Like, hmm, exercise more, stop drinking, get into nature, actually leave that job that's just not fulfilling. Some of these things require a leap. Other things, you may be aware of the, the, the logistical, pragmatic choices that you can make before that in order to make that bigger choice. Whatever it is, this is an opportunity to not wait until things are so painful that that's when you get the benefit or that's when you feel cornered by whatever's going on. So today's video, I actually made a banner and I didn't put it up. So what pain are you creating right now? What problem are you creating? What problem are you inventing in your world in order to defend your point of view or avoid making a choice. Like what are those things that keep you in a place where you're actually choosing the thing you don't want by not choosing? So whatever that brings up, let's bring it into the sacred bowl and bye-bye. So yeah, I'm wondering what is coming up for you, definitely share in the comments. I'd love to hear 
even if you just notice an energy shift as a result of this or sort of a lightness, oftentimes when we have these kinds of conversations where we're questioning different things, then it gives our being more space, more space to know that it's not stuck, that it's not hopeless, that it's not, you know, forced to be in a place that it's a great reminder that you have choices. And what if you can't make a wrong choice? Because you can't. Every choice gives you information. You're always choosing anyway. Even if you're choosing to not make the choice, you're choosing. So be aware of what you can do that actually would give you information. One of my favorite questions to ask is, what wrong choice can I make right now that would be would give me more information than the right choice I am trying to make? And whatever that brings up, destroy and uncreate it. It's from one of my favorite access consciousness teachers, Brendan Watt. He, I was taking a course with him and, and that question came up and it really blew my mind. So I'm going to ask it again, because especially for those of you out there who are dating, because how many times are we just not willing to go online because we're too scared that we're going to get rejected or something's going to go wrong or you're not going to see anyone you like and you're not willing to be engaged in that. But yet there's this pain of loneliness or longing that is basically keeping you from having the desire. So if you knew that you couldn't make a wrong choice and that everything is just information and it doesn't have to be a problem or a struggle, that it can be a choice and awareness. So choice and awareness rather than choice and wrong, bad. <laughs> it's just choice and awareness. And then you can make another choice and another choice and another choice that, you know, you can be free. And this is why tools like this are so empowering because most of the time we're living our life waiting for the thing that's going to force us to make the choice or waiting till we are pushed into the corner and then we have to quit the job or break up with the person because it's just gotten so bad you can't even tolerate it. Whatever the thing, like remind yourself right now, body, 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 being, we have choices. We have choices. And if you're not sure what it is, ask, just say, show me, show me what choice can I make right now that I haven't considered? What choice can I make that I haven't been aware of yet? Show me. And then See what happens. Ask the question, go live your life, and then you will know. You will know. And if you can choose for joy rather than pain, what joyful choice can you make? What nurturing choice can you make? What playful choice can you make that you haven't been willing to make because you have a habit of overworking or getting overwhelmed or staying in confusion. Sometimes when we're doing the overwhelm, the confusion, that kind of intensity or the drama, trauma stuff, it keeps us from actually the awareness of the choice that's there. So all of the drama and trauma and frustration and overwhelm and confusion and fear that you're choosing that keeps you from knowing the choice that is truly aligned for you in this moment or that would create greater, will you destroy and uncreate that right now? So there we go. I do recommend watching this more than once. Watch it maybe 10 days in a row. Listen to it 10 days in a row right before you go to bed, something like that, so that you can start clearing out these unconscious habits of waiting for things to be too painful, too hard, too much of a problem before you choose for you. So it's kind of like the inner 
version of being that over giver or people pleaser and like wanting to take care of everybody else's stuff before you, but it's happening within. It's like, okay, well, I'm just going to go on this emotional roller coaster, ignore myself. And then eventually either, I mean, I hate to say it, but this is true. Oftentimes it's disease, illness, accidents, where it's basically the big Mack truck collision in your life that makes you go, oh, oh, I need to make a change here. So thanks for being here. Did you like this video? Invite your unicorn sisters over here. This channel keeps growing. I'm so excited about what's happening here on Love Vibe TV. And I just love that this is becoming a hub for so many women who want to feel empowered in your love life and have way greater things to experience. How fun can you have? This is so great. So thanks for sharing it. And we'll see you on the next video. Hallelujah, Lunicorn. Love is here for you. Bye.